The Jester show was loved by the court and put on everybody in a happy mood. Ooh, I'm happy for that. But I didn't hit record at the beginning. So everybody, welcome back to Sort the Court. I don't know what happened. I thought I hit record and it didn't. But we're back in Sort the Court. Luckily, I've only gotten through a couple people. I think it was I only got through a day after the last episode. So we haven't missed anything. Basically, we just got a bunch of gold. And I lost a couple people because they didn't like pineapple. And I, for one, am going to stand up for pineapple because I like pineapple. But welcome back to Sort the Court, everybody. We paid the jester. We gave him 50 gold, which I wasn't too happy about. Uh, that seemed like a, ste a really high amount of gold for the jester. Especially after we let him buy new balls. But the jester show was loved by the court. So everybody is in a happy mood. So that's good. And day nine is complete. So... Our wealth went down, but we gained 21 new people, so that's good. Demands, demand for my service is through the roof. May I have your permission to raise my prices? Sure. Merci, merci. The Barber's Association thanks you. I think I'm giving everybody the same voice at this point. That mischievous monkey has been captured. I shall send him in for your judgment. Ooh, I get to judge the monkey. Oh, he's cute. Cook, cook. He's defending his case. Should we punish him for flinging stuff? No, he's cute. Cook, cook. You better not do it again, though. Yeah, don't fling your poop. Oh, hey, you're back from your adventure. I have returned from my quest. A great bounty of treasure. Holy shit, look at all my gold. I can buy everything. Are we going to turn this into a castle back here? I've got a... I've got a friend from which school looking to move into town. Can we get a couple gold to help her move in? Eh, you need a couple gold to move in. That's fine. There you go. Thanks. I'll be helping her get settled. Good. Good, good. We could use another witch to make me a potion. The escaped prisoner has been recaptured thanks to the bounty you offered. Our citizens can rest easier knowing that she's put back away. Day 10 complete. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh, okay, so, see, now we're, we're having good growth. Everything's going up now. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. Oh, it's Chester again. I accidentally ate some... No! You get... Oh. You bring up a good fucking point, Chester. I still lost people. I could have gotten gold out of the deal. God damn it. Oh! Bro, give me your gold or I'll eat your townspeople. No. Oh, I'm gonna eat some folks then. 30 people? Fuck you, Dragonfoot! The spirits are appeased right now, but perhaps we should grant them an offering of gold. I know the spirit world always appreciates gold, and it might prevent them from haunting us in the future. What do you say? 200 gold would make a decent offer. 200 gold? It's a lot. No. I don't want to give a book. Nothing for now then? I'll let you know if anything changes in the spirit world. Hey, you better. God damn it, I don't want to give up all my gold. Grandma! Hey, I was considering opening up a suit shop. I think it's a good idea, but I need some gold. Yes, Grandma. You can have some gold. You make your soup shop. Very well, I'll settle my soup in the town square. You better bring me a bowl of soup, Grandma. I'm hungry. Literally, like in real life, I'm hungry. A petition to bring the circus to town is circulating. Could attract tourists, are you interested? Yes! Bring the circus here! Why do we even need a petition for that? She just asked me. I would've been like, hell yeah! We'll bring the clowns, bring the horses, we'll bring the trapeze dude. We even have a cannon dude. It, that sounds good. Circus is in town, bringing joy to all the people. What fell back here? What is that? What, what, what? Oh, was that just a bunch of gold? Okay. He did eat people, though. So. Oh, ooh, we're building something up here now. Oh, it's you! You ready for the truth? Aliens have already landed in the inner city. You think we're safe? Yeah, I think we're safe. They haven't done anything yet. I think so, too. Why would they want to harm us? Exactly. Why would you try and trick me with your trick questions? I had a butler. Where the fuck have you been? Ahem. <laughs> Might I get a cup of tea for you, my liege? Yes, I would like some tea. Ah, yes. Nice and hot, sire. I like me some tea. Alien, you haven't been talking to Mulder, have you? Yes, I have. Here, take this. I was never here, okay? Okay. 
I've been working on a video game. It's this new thing I came up with. I think it will catch on. Sure. Me too, I'm excited about the possibilities. Anyway, it's a game where you play with others and go around killing monsters. You get a sword. Is it the Legend of Zelda? Yeah, swords are great. So when you slay a monster, you get experience points and... Hey, are you still listening? Yeah! Good, well thanks for listening to my idea. Look at all my gold, holy hell! Chicken again! I think it's just here to pay a visit. Should we leave it be? Yeah, let him be there. It left behind an egg made out of three gold. The circus is in town bringing you joy and oh my god, look at all my gold. Day 12 is complete and everything's going up. The city is growing. We can't even see the, ooh, ooh. Sire, the city's population is growing steadily. Our records of citizenship indicate that 250 people now call the city home. Actually, it's 257 people. I have it on my little tablet over here. But that's fine, you can be wrong. Royal advisor. With a bigger city, we'll need to maintain even higher happiness in order to keep people satisfied. I make sure make sure you pay attention to the citizens and their issues to raise happiness. Anyway, we still have lots of work to do, so let's make this town even bigger. By the way, remember earlier when I mentioned the Council of Crowns? I've heard a rumor that one of their members has been searching the land for a new ruler to join them. Perhaps they are aware of our progress. They better be. Look at my fucking progress. I'm like. Ro I, was, I was just about to say I'm like fucking royalty, but I literally am that. There's a bunch of goblins in the- Yes, take care of them. I'll show those creeps. Last time, they bullied my people. I don't like that. Some of the villagers mentioned they saw an alien walking around. You know anything about this? Nope. Are you suggesting your townspeople are liars? Interesting. I didn't see no alien. Oh! Thanks for covering me. I knew I could count on you. Well, don't just waltz in here. You're gonna get seen, dude. I am the Duke of Spook. Yeah, give me a new nickname. <clears throat> you can be... That's literally the same nickname as last time. You just took off a Y. I was the Creepy King, and now I'm the Creep King? You need to come up with better ideas, son. Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barbershop. Would you like a fresh cut, sir? Yes. Will it change my haircut? Of course you do, you look dashing. But my haircut didn't change! Holy crap! Oh, they left. Oh, well, thank you! There we go, everything's going like it should! Because I am the king! Little Timmy! I did not remember your name was Little Timmy, I just wanted to call you Timmy. Ah! Can my friends come over and play? Sure. I don't see the bad thing in that. Ha ha! Your head is shiny! My boat's too tiny to catch many fish. Can I have some gold to upgrade it? I'll pay you back. If you're gonna pay me back, I'll give you I'll give you a loan. But is this time, fisherman. You better bring me some fish though. You have big arms and tiny dagger. I'm blacksmith. I'd like to set up shop here. I can pay I can pay my own way. I just need your permission. What do you say? Yeah, go right ahead. Ha! I'll show you my incredible skill. Good, good. I want to. Oh, you're already back, sir. I heard about the dragon attack you were made to endure. I've come up with an idea to strike back. I can craft a blade powerful enough to slay the dragon and take all of his treasures. It won't be easy though. I need to track down the finest metals, but they're quite costly. Might have a few, a few hundred. Let's see. Holy shit! You're taking all of my gold. You better get back with that damn dragon or get here before the damn dragon gets here. <clears throat> Some villagers are threatening to leave unless you pay them a sum of gold. Should we listen to them? Ugh, give them a little bit of gold. Fuckers. Gossip is spreading about a heroic purple witch slaying goblins in the lower quarter. She's become something of a folk hero. Well good, if she's keeping them away and gaining people, I think that that is fine for her to be a little bit of a- th OW! Fuck, I rolled over my foot on my chair! <laughs> Boom, boom, ba doom, boom, ba doom. I'm getting real. I'm really getting into it, aren't you? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I thought. So into it. Hey, you're a folk hero. There's a bunch of goblins in it. Yeah, kill them. Get rid of them. Little Timmy, ah, can I have a coin? I a gold coin. Yeah, I have one coin. You can have one coin. Thank ya. Woo. 
Who are you? Madame Abiel. Bonjour, my name is Madame Abiel. And I've come to join your court. Will you have me? Yes, join my court. How sweet, I'm sure wonderful adventures await. Taking all my gold. Okay, so that's making happiness go up. So I'm going to keep doing that whenever she asks to do that. Because that is a good thing. I think we might be able to get the town up in one more day. Who are you? The Sultan! I've got a business proposition for you on your tiny little town. Are you interested? Tiny little town. Look at the size of my towers. Look at them! This tower right here. Right to the right. Kind of looks like a penis. But that doesn't matter. Sure. Give us a business opportunity. Aha, I will bring details soon. Okay. I like the bird in your hat, by the way. You gonna give me another stupid... Ga care to gaze into my vampire crystal? No, thank you. You'll live the rest of your life never knowing. Unless you show back up again. <laughs> it's just staring at me. Does it want something? No. Get out of here. What just happened? I feel happy. Well, good, you didn't steal my fucking gold this time. Who the... Winston, hey, uh, you, you think you could tell people to stop calling me slime ball? It hurts my feelings. Yeah, sure. Thanks, boss. Now, fuck him. You're not even really a ball shape either. Are you back? I wish to strengthen the bonds between our cities. Shall we engage in a trade mission? Yeah, sure. We shall work together. I hope. Again, I hope. Get my fucking gold back. Go. There we go. People are happy. The town's growing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sort the Court. Again, I really like this game, and I will leave a link down below so you guys can play if you missed the first episode. Uh, however, uh, if you if everybody missed me, uh, the intro to this one because I stupidly didn't hit record again. You gotta like double click because I clicked it to stop. And I thought I clicked it again and it didn't start. And I'm so sad because we missed a couple funny things. But that's besides the point. We had a good time. We got to sort the court and we're a king. And we still have a good amount of gold. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, leave a like down below to let me know you did. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up so you get notifications when I upload videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep seeing amazing videos if you guys think they're amazing. Or just roll around funny videos that I like to put out for you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.